Uh, we do know that genetics probably is the major factor involved in autism. Um, we suspect that perhaps up to 90% of autistic cases have a, a genetic uh, contribution. So the opportunity presented itself um, just about 12 months ago to really make this transition into doing whole genome sequencing. Uh, if you remember the Human Genome Project, it, it cost about $3 billion to sequence the genome of a consensus individual, um, and that was published in 2000. And then uh, with Craig Venture's group, our, our team actually uh, sequenced the first genome of an identified individual and published that in 2007. That cost $70 million. And since that time, the price has just come down. Uh, I don't remember. So fast. Last year was probably $50,000, maybe two years ago. And then it became uh, $5,000. And in my lab now, we can do it for about $4,000. But in in China, there's this, there's this massive organization called the Beijing Genomics Institute. It's not actually in Beijing. It's in Chengzhou, which is right across from Hong Kong. Uh, but it's called Beijing Genomics Institute, or BGI. And because they have this huge capacity, they can bring the cost down to $2,500 right now. And with BGI, we've initiated this project now to sequence the genomes of 10,000 individuals with autism. Uh, we've done a pilot now where we've uh, initial, uh, initiated sequencing of 200 families from Canada. Uh, we have the preliminary data on about 33 of those, uh, and uh, it's very exciting. I, I, th I think that we, we know that there's, we already got a a lot of uh, methods or um, treatments or interventions could help help out with all the children, but can we do it earlier? Which I think will be much better for for the happiness of the childhood. Is I, I think BGI has built up a uh, uh, big capacity, which makes it possible to really uh, to dissect for let's say ten ten thousand. This current plan, uh, the 10,000 um, whole gene uh, sequencing and analysis uh, for autism speaks. So I think the technical side that uh, BJ is uh, at least one of the most possible candidates mm -hmm. to do so in the in the in the world. The population of Toronto, the, the largest uh, group now is Chinese. I think one million Chinese uh, Asians are living in, in Toronto. And we're starting to see this represented in the clinics here at SickKids. So, you know, to interpret the data, we have to have the proper controls done. So this, this was a, an obvious step for us. We, not that we want to do it, we had to do it. But um, this, this opportunity opened itself up. And I think in typical Canadian style, we kind of serve as a broker. Uh, clearly China and uh, U.S. can throw more money at it, but I think we can do it smarter, and the smart way is to actually bring them together and get them working together. This is the BGI Hong Kong uh, Next Generation Sequencing Laboratory. Here we have 77 of the Illumina HiSeq 2000s. Each machine is capable of generating 600 uh, gigabases of data per 13 days uh, per machine. And so I've done the math and this pretty much means that assuming 77 machines are running simultaneously, uh, our lab could generate 3.5 terabytes of data per day. And so we currently forecast it'll take about another two years uh, for this project to be completed. Scientifically, I, I think uh, I, I felt it for the first time in the last six months, we, we kind of crossed a, cr a threshold where there's convergence of data coming in. Uh, so I think this is exciting times. So, but the most important thing is to do the sequencing project, because uh, that's what all the data kind of either stems from or is tied to. And we need to do that right. And once we have it, I probably regret saying this, we don't have to do it again. That's the beauty of genetics is uh, the genome is finite. It doesn't really change. So if we sequence enough, we should have that data to actually do all these other experiments. You know, I, I think the, the goal of the Autism Speaks 
the, the, the 10K projects, the ultimate 10K projects, is not just only to understand the genetics of autism, but also try to use that to make it into more applications. It, it, it is our ultimate goal to uh, contribute to society, uh, use our capabilities, our resources to make an impact in the world. Some, someone maybe thinks it's this, maybe it's a high impact journal or accomplishment, maybe a, a professorship is accomplishment, maybe you earn a lot of money is accomplishment, um, but so when will you really feel what is accomplishment? is when the patients, the children, who get benefits from something that is originally from your discovery. That's what we call accomplishment. What will happen, uh, again, probably five years out, uh, maybe sooner, but probably within five years, is that uh, um, when you have your child in the hospital, you'll probably have your genome, that child's genome sequence on a USB key or chip or whatever uh, before the child leaves the hospital. That's how fast the technology is moving. Uh, it guaranteed, I bet my bottom dollar, will be there in five years.